Well, it's called Wine Off the Fox, and it's all things wine, <laughs> food trucks, and raising money. Oswego is hosting a special event today to help local and national breast cancer awareness organizations. With us this morning is Ryan Kaufman, the Village of Oswego president. Good morning, Ryan. Morning. Thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for being on this morning. Tell us about your event. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, today is Oswego's Wine Off the Fox. So this outdoor event in Oswego features wine tasting, live music, food trucks, and all for a great cause, breast cancer awareness and support. Encourage everyone to come on out and see us. Wine Off the Fox. Talk to us about the name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. So for almost 20 years now, Oswego has hosted wine on the Fox, on the banks of the Fox River in the spring. So this event is hosted off the Fox because it's off the Fox River up at our new venue, Venue 1012. So you were off on the fox before, and now <laughs> you're it. on the fox. <laughs> off the so, fox. So uh, tell me a little bit about that new venue. You guys moved the whole event. Yeah, so uh, venue uh, 1012 is a new outdoor Oswego uh, amphitheater. Uh, it's nestled right next to a beautiful pond. Venue 1012 is accessible, and there's plenty of free parking. So it's located at 1012 Station Drive in Oswego near the intersection of Mill and Orchard Roads. So we're real proud of this new amphitheater and we'd love to encourage everyone to come on out and see us. We're seeing some pictures from last year's event, I presume. Uh, seems like a yes. good turnout. What made you decide to keep bringing us back? Because it's a popular event. As a matter of fact, we uh, it was so popular last year, we added a second day. Uh, you know, it's, it's for a great cause. We support breast cancer awareness. We raise money for breast cancer. So come on out and, uh, and every drink that you have helps find a cure for, uh, for breast cancer. Can you talk to us about some of the local organizations that you're helping out? Yeah, absolutely. So we, uh, we're working with Rush Copley, uh, Waterford Place Cancer Resource Center, the Edward Foundation Breast Cancer Fund Program Fund, and the American Cancer Society. And, and this is um, sponsored by the city? Is that uh, who the yes. sponsoring body is? And that's a little bit unusual to have a city just not raise money for some city cause, but you actually have kind of a greater good uh, involved here. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's also hosted by uh, uh, T.R. Miller, Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Why is this so important? I mean, we, we all know somebody um, that's had a cancer diagnosis, uh, specifically even breast mm -hmm. cancer. It's just so rampant. Um, but talk to us about, you know, why why it's important for you guys out there to keep doing this and, and for all of your residents to keep participating. Yeah, absolutely. So it helps promote breast cancer awareness and a portion of the ticket proceeds are donated to breast cancer support uh, supporting organizations. So to uh, Oswego breast cancer survivors will briefly share their stories on stage this evening. And many of our guests, you know, someone they know, someone mm -hmm. they love, have or are receiving services from these wonderful organizations. Mm -hmm. So there are so many people who have been affected by breast cancer in our community and beyond. And my great aunt, uh, Mariella Rudin, passed away from breast cancer when she was 55. So we all know somebody, we all love somebody. Mm -hmm. So it's important to support yeah. everyone and you know share their journeys, share their stories. And you mentioned we've expanded, you've expanded the, uh, um, the event. Uh, so it goes today and tomorrow, uh, uh, all the way through the weekend? Uh, it was yesterday and today. Yeah. So okay. beginning at uh, 2 so we still have a chance. going until 7.30. Mm -hmm. Yep. And sadly, Ryan, yeah. sadly, Ryan, I can't partake in the, the whole wine drinking, but you have a lot of options there for those that can, correct? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So you can taste more than 27 wines. You can listen to music from two bands, visit our food trucks. We have a great selection of rosé since pink is sure. you know, breast cancer color. There's also a wide selection of wine, red, sweet, fruit wines, and Oswego's own Fox Valley Winery will serve four different wines, including blue, crafted with blackberries and blueberries, and a few wow. crowd favorites from last year are Village Vintner's Blood Orange Sangria and Caramel Apple, one of my personal favorites, mm. as well as August Hill's Sparkling Angel of Hope. So wines from Illinois, Argentina, France, mm. Germany, Italy, Portugal, Spain, around the world. We're local, we're international. Come on out and try some. All right, like Ryan, it. where and when? And uh, tickets in advance, do you get them there? How does it work? Well, you can, uh, you can get all the information you like at venue1012.com. And uh, you can buy tickets here at the door, or you can get them online ahead of time. And um, uh, Venue 1012 is, uh, is, is at Orchard and Mill. All right, perfect. All right, Ryan Kaufman, the uh, Village of Oswego president, thanks for your time this morning. We appreciate it. 
Thanks so much for having me. Really appreciate it. All right. Good luck today. Thank you.